If you heard about young athlete died on the field suddenly, it's usually hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the most common cause of cardiac death in young athletes. It affects around 0.3% of world population. And what is the idea of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? The main idea is thickening of the heart muscle. You can see here is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and you can see how thickened is cardiac muscle, especially left ventricle, especially septum. It's walled between uh, ventricles, left and right ventricles. It usually affects left ventricles and it's most serious, of course. And what is most common symptoms? Most common symptoms are chest pain, especially during physical activity, shortness of breath and palpitations, fainting and fatigue. But in 70% of cases, or two thirds roughly, we have symptoms, chest pain and shortness of breath. In rare cases, in rare cases, we have other symptoms such as fainting and fatigue and palpitations. Palpitations, fainting and fatigue is not most common symptoms of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, but chest pain and shortness of breath are. Now, we differentiate most common forms of uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. First is obstructive form and non-obstructive form. Non-obstructive form is much more milder. And now let's say what means obstructive form. Here first we have normal normal uh, heart and you can see normal ven ventricle, normal ventricle, normal muscle size. And on second picture we have obstructive form. Obstructive form of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And what it means? Most important part here is thickening of septum. This septum is thickened, it's like rock in the river. And this rock in the river obstructs water flow. And it also obstructs blood flow here. That's why it's obstructive form. And it can obstruct blood flow, it can cause faint, it can cause sudden cardiac death. That's why it's important obstructive form. And if we say roughly, obstructive form is represented in 70% of cases. That's why we have symptoms in 70% of cases. And the rest, around 25% is asymptomatic. This disease pro is progressive, but this progress is slow. Over time, symptoms progress slowly. Usually disease is diagnosed in adolescence or young adulthood, before the age 30, usually. And if we review when uh, these athletes died, almost everyone died before 30. Some of them died in 18 years old, some of them 28, some of them 21, but usually before 30. Uh, and uh, we have also conclusion and uh, observation that intense physical activity exacerbates these symptoms. Intense physical activity can cause sudden cardiac death. Uh, diagnosis. Uh, the best method of diagnosis is echocardiography because on echocardiography you can see in sick and well, you can see you know, obstruction, you can see chamber size, and as we said, two thirds of cases are obstructive forms. Also, we have different types of um, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It can be asymmetric septal uh, hypertrophy. Asymmetric is here, we said, asymmetric septal. This is septum and it's asymmetric form. This, this is why it's called asymmetric septal hypertrophy. It's most common form, most common form of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. We have concentric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's, uh, it causes obstruction in less, less cases, but still can cause obstruction. 
uh, and concentric uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is more general not only septum but other parts of the heart also uh, atypical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is much rare form and it's more common among uh, Japanese descended people and uh, we have hypertrophy here apex apex of the heart and uh, less severe symptoms and massive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is rare form it is uh, represented in one percent of cases it also known as malignant hypertrophic cardiomyopathy it has symptoms it's severe form of this disease and what is treatment now treatment is lifestyle modifications uh, less intensive exercises medications beta blockers calcium channel blockers antiarrhythmics septal myectomy alcohol septal ablash ablation and uh, implantable devices of, to prevent sudden cardiac death that's the treatment methods and now let's say about athlete's heart athlete's heart uh, usually looks like uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy but what's the difference athlete heart uh, here we have normal heart it's athlete heart and here we have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy so uh, and what is idea of athlete's heart when person is exercised intensively normal healthy person it had heart becomes uh, bigger stronger and it uh, its uh, heart rate becomes slower but more stronger and walls are uh, slightly thickened it is called athlete's heart actually athlete's heart is adaptive and it's not pathological and it's healthy but in case of uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy we have much thicker septum in many cases that's the main difference but on echocardiogram many cases it's difficult to differentiate athlete's heart from um, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy that's why in many cases uh, this disease is undiagnosed and first symptom can be sudden cardiac death in case of athletes. Um, thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.